Welcome to Electra Online. Water has another property which makes it extremely important to life on Earth. Again, without water, we wouldn't be here for various reasons, including this one, the heat capacity of water. Water has the greatest heat capacity of any substance in the universe. What does that mean? Well, as a simple example, let's say that we had one gram of water at 15 degrees Celsius, and we add one calorie to that water, and I know that's a strange symbol for calorie, but just say we add one calorie of energy to the water, it would only increase the temperature by one degree because it has such high heat capacity. In comparison, if you have one gram of copper at 15 degrees Celsius and you add one calorie, it would go up by 11 degrees and the temperature would now be 26 degrees Celsius. It has a much lower heat capacity. It's almost like having a trunk and how much heat you can put into it before the temperature goes up. For water, it's absolutely phenomenal. Nothing else even gets close. And coupled with the fact that the Earth is covered almost three quarters of the surface by water, lakes, rivers, and oceans, and seas, well, in the summertime, when it gets really warm, those oceans can absorb tremendous amount of energy, and the temperature of the oceans will go up very, very slowly. And so they're kind of heat sinks. And then when the winter comes around, they can then re-release that energy into the atmosphere and keep things a lot warmer than otherwise would be if those oceans weren't around. In addition to that, water takes a long time to cool down before it begins to freeze. So oceans, by and large, will not begin to freeze until it has been cold for a very long time at very, very low temperatures, like in the northern Arctic Ocean. And even then, a lot of places in the Arctic Ocean, they don't necessarily freeze over right away because it takes so long for the water to cool down sufficiently before it begins to freeze. So water has a tremendous thermostat capability for the Earth. In the summer, it absorbs a lot of the energy, so it keeps things around the oceans cool. And then in the wintertime, it re-releases that energy, and so therefore it keeps things warmer in the wintertime where oceans are at than if oceans were not there. In addition to that, it takes a long time for our ice to begin to form so that oceans don't freeze over by enormous quantities or enormous areas because of that tremendous property of water. Water is like this best thermostat you can imagine, and therefore we owe our existence to that very special property of water being able to hold on to heat, that tremendous amount of heat because of its very high heat capacity. Also salt water takes more. And of course salt water requires the cold temperatures to freeze, but that's a little side thing. Yes. Oceans do freeze. <laughs> yes, and in the end, even though oceans are made of the salt water, which lowers the freezing temperature, um, in addition to that, yes, they do freeze when it gets cold enough. No question about it. If you hear that noise, that's our little kitten that's grown to be quite a kitten, and she's destroying the whole house at this point. 